Are you ready to take student engagement to another level? Time to Climb is a game-like activity offered through Nearpod. It is a great way to increase student engagement while assessing student knowledge with a friendly classroom competition. Nearpod has an entire library bank of pre-made Time to Climb activities to use. But in this video, I will show you how to create one. Let's get started. After logging in to Nearpod, you can use the drop-down option to create a lesson or click on the plus sign to create a lesson. When your next screen appears for your untitled lesson, you can go ahead and change your title. You will click on add content or activities. You'll notice that you'll need to scroll down for more. And when you click on that scroll down on that first row, you'll see time decline and you'll click on time decline. Let's go live into Nearpod. I'm going to go ahead and create a new lesson. I'm going to click on add activities or content. And I remember I'm going to scroll down for more. Here I'll find in my first row, time to climb. Again, these activities can be added to your existing Nearpod lessons, or you can create them on their, your own. So you'll enter the question and answer options in the spaces provided. Be sure to indicate the correct answer by clicking on the check mark. And you can select how long your students have to answer over here in the right hand side. So you can adjust the amount of time that they have. You're able to add up to four answers. You can add a reference image if you'd like into typing them into your answers are on the right hand side. Continue to add those questions by clicking on the green button and your quiz will be complete after you save your work. If you're looking to add a time to climb in the library, you can filter by grade or subject. Let's check that out. Over here in the right hand side, you can explore the different options that Nearpod has already created. So if you click on the filter, you can go ahead and filter by subject or grade. We can go ahead and put science. Let's check out seventh grade. When I go ahead and click apply, the different options will appear on the right hand side. You can choose one of these options to add to your time to climb or you can create your own questions. If I were to create one using Nearpods, you'll notice that all the questions will appear right in front of you. You can change them if you'd like, or you can add additional questions. When you're done, you'll go ahead and click on the Save button, and your edited will be saved. So now when you're facilitating your time to climb, I'm going to go back to our slides. You'll notice that when you want to launch it in live participation mode, you'll have the option to mute the music for all the devices but I would suggest keeping the music on. The students love it. Turning on the toggle on enables the sound and turning the toggle off disables the sound. With the music muted, you will not hear the game sound from your device nor your student's device. If you have multiple time to climb activities embedded in your lesson, you will have to control the volume at the start of each game when it launches. So remember that this feature is not yet available for student pace mode. So if you're doing it live, you're able to adjust um, the, the sound. When you reach your time to climb in your lesson, you'll be prompted to choose the themes. Here are just a few themes that they have set this month. In addition, you'll be able to toggle on and off following the randomized answers, as well as pausing the game between questions if you'd like to discuss and playing that sound on the student's devices. Click continue when you are done to launch your game. Students will get to choose a character. So once you've Choosing the theme and customize the option, students will be prompted to choose a character. They can click on the arrow to see additional characters. In the student pace mode, the game will start automatically for each student once they have chosen a character. Here is an example of a question on what a student would see when the game begins. Students will see the multiple choice questions on their devices. They'll get instant feedback on the correct answer and they'll earn points for answering with speed and accuracy. 
As a teacher, you will be able to see your students' scores and students will see themselves climbing the mountain after each question. At the end of the time to climb, the top three students will be recognized on the podium. Results from the activity can be printed from the post-session report after ending your Nearpod lesson. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.